Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a video I haven't done yet in my reselling career and that is a day in the life of a UK reseller who sells basically everything on eBay and Vinted and other places but mainly it's eBay. I'm going to take you through the day, what I do. Obviously every day is different for a reseller so this day will be completely different from tomorrow, from the next day. Um, obviously I have days off but I don't think you want to see me having a day off because I don't do anything but just sit on a, this couch and just watch football and movies but today it's the start of the week and usually the start of the week is where I do a lot most of my stuff and um, my son's now gone to school he's going back to his mom's for a few days so this is where I usually get a lot of stuff done because I want to pack most of my um, work in the days when I don't have my son so when my son does come back i got time to do stuff with him. Obviously, I still do stuff, but this is where I do the bulk main of my stuff, picking in general. And usually at the start of the week, I pick a lot. I usually go and do my round trip of my local areas around the charity shops. Enjoy this video. If you do, obviously hit that thumbs up. And remember, if you are new, comment down below. So let's get in to the first charity shop and see what we can find. You have seen I've not picked up anything. Three shops around my local area. Um, probably because I went to these yesterday. So I'm going to change my plans and I'm going to start where I was going to finish and I'm heading to Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury is probably one of the best grounds to pick up a lot of stuff. Um, I do have a rival now though. Um, Lightworks, if you're watching, yeah. I'm talking about you. He lives in Shrewsbury, so he does pick up a lot of stuff from there. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go there. I haven't been for about, I would say, about a month and a half, two months almost. I haven't really bothered with chat shops that much because of the car boots. And also, every time I go into charity shops, I might pick up a little gem here and there. But most of the time, it's so overpriced. You, would have, you might have known about that when I was talking about it in my last video. So we're going to go to Shrewsbury. There is over 20 charity shops in Shrewsbury. There's ones on the outskirts and there's ones in the actual centre. This is one of my best shops in Shrewsbury. I always seem to pick up all the bargains. Mm, these are nice. Very nice. 12 quid. <clears throat> looking about 20 to 30 quid but it absolute decked there was loads of pulls on this Bill Henry the Hoover three quid looking about 10 to 15 quid but a bit bashed. <laughs> Look at that. How cool is that? It's a bit knackered though. Pretty cool though. Um, five down and I've picked up one thing so far. At another Bernardo's now. Um, this is usually quite good for clothing so hopefully I can get some clothes or something. God, 25 quid. So, this is a Versace and I want 10 quid for it. So, why would they want 10 quid for a Versace? Because it is completely fake. And they still want 10 quid for it. Disgusting. 20 quid. Jesus Christ, weird fish. See how much they charge weird fish in here. 20 quid. North Face jacket, really nice. But 20 quid? Jesus Christ. So there we go. 
Um, my point is just being proven from the last video about how charity shops are overpriced in products. They wanted £25 for that top. I mean, it was a little cost top. Yes, it was nice. Would you pay that in a, in a shop? Yes, if it's brand new. But it's not brand new, it's second hand. And, I mean, who is going to pay that? I mean, a person who's coming into a shop for stuff like that is going to be very, very rare. Not many people who would wear that top are going to come into that shop. You know, they're going to buy one probably brand new. The other thing is the size as well. If you're going to buy something like that, you've got to make sure it's spot on. You know, I've done it in the past. Probably people are watching it now, this video. You go into shops all the time and you find something you really like and it just doesn't fit so you don't buy it or it doesn't look right. And they still want £25 for it. Absolutely disgusting. I literally was this close to saying something, but there was no one there. It's absolutely... I don't even know where they're getting these prices from. Yes, that would sell for about £25 on eBay. Maybe 30 but like I said, size, the design, it all comes down to that. And also on eBay, remember, you've got to post it. You're putting it on eBay, so you're getting eBay fees. So you're not actually probably going to make the money they want for it here. Absolutely disgusting. Charity shops, if they carry on like this, they're going to have no business because... The only people who come in are people looking for the odd bargain. And that is not a bargain to anybody. I wouldn't pay that much money um, for that because it's just absolutely disgusting. You know, I understand I'm a reseller and you need to buy stuff to sell stuff on. Charity shops are there usually because they're cheap. It's like a car boot. You go to get bargains. You know, some people sell things off cheaper. Some people don't. It's, it's totally up to them how they sell it. But with a charity shop, you're getting it free. You're getting things all the time coming through the door every charity shop so far i've had people get um, turned away saying sorry we can't have any more stuff and that is because they're overpricing things they're trying to make money for a charity a cause and if they would have reduced that to let's say like even if it's 15 pounds 15 pounds still quite expensive for a shirt um and yeah you would have sold it a lot quicker but that's going to be on there i will guarantee i will do a video in a month's time and i'll come back here and i guarantee that is still there because no one is going to buy that for that price right rant over i need to go and get some stuff but this video is showing to you that it doesn't matter how many charity shops you go to nowadays charity shops are just extortionate and they are so overpriced you know this the bargains you need to up your game and try and find things that are not like so branded uh maybe designer goods that are like they don't even know what it is because they can't find it or certain vintage toys or something like that because they the charity shops haven't got a clue about them so hopefully i can find some of them if not this day is going from worse to worse mm -hmm. so these so one sold for 60 bits so don't know if you heard me in the shop but i picked this up at 25 pound i paid for this but there is been one sold well there's been a few sold and they're all over about 50 pound one has been sold on bids for 60 pounds so if that's 60 pound on bids it's definitely worth 60 pound all day long which is going to be double my money plus some also, I didn't film this on camera because I, I was too busy packing that, which is a cars advent calendar. It comes with f the five cars and more toys, you know. So that's brand new. So that's great for Christmas. Um, probably sell it for around, uh, selling for around twelve ninety nine. So there's no reason why I can't sell that for twelve ninety nine. Okay, do you want more? Um... So I've just gone to the next charity shop, nothing in there except for this, £3 Garfield, the movie, TY, so probably looking about 10 to 15, I've sold for 15, so that should be alright. Um, 
this is a Pikachu denim. Ten quid, it's from Primark, or it's tagged, so I can sell it as new. I've seen one on Vinted for 30 quid, trying to sell one. So, if I can sell it for 30 quid, that's a 20 quid profit. Oh, I have just seen a banger. It's a Chinese vintage robe. If this is in good condition, you could be worth hundreds. Anger and all. Look at that man. That is beautiful. Eight quid. Rojo ski game. Oh, what's this? Oh, you're a boss. Let's see if it's real. If it's real. Got all the labels. Yeah, we're for Fiverr. Four quid. Early two thousands Man United kit. See if it's real. Labels look legit. Oh, yeah, there you go. Extra large. Looks small. Oh, another 15 quid for them. Ooh. Six quid. You alright? Basketball boots. Dear, I'm doing fifty eight, but so it's a forty ton race. Two of them. Of about 50 quid each. Just picked up some proper bangers in that shop. That saved the day for charity shops. Um, yeah, um, I picked up some nice things there. That um, Chinese robe. I thought it was a Komodo at first, and I got really excited because Komodos sell for a lot. Um, but it was, I think it's more of a dressing gown, is in the women's section. But still, it's a vintage Chinese dressing gown. Black and gold. I mean, it is quality. Hopefully, uh, when I check it out properly, got a bit excited and just got it. Um, it's not ripped anywhere. Well, comps on that are looking anything between 50 to 200 pound, depending on which one. I suppose it's what you want to sell it for. I um, picked up some other cool stuff as well. Two brand new deer wear or deer deer something never heard of it. i think they're american make um big sizes 46 sizes but they're both brand new it's more for your fishing your like when you're camping your outdoor people uh waterproof and all that a lot really good quality but they're brand new you're looking at around 50 quid maybe 60 quid per pair of trousers and they're both exactly the same so you never know somebody might buy both when i put them on yeah, but so that last shop actually saved my day. A few more charity shops in a place called Newport. Usually half are pretty poor, but there's about two or three which are usually have quite nice things. One has really nice clothing. One's really cheap. Um, and the other one usually has some surprise like toy in it. I, I've picked up a few toys there. Uh, hopefully um, there's some good stuff. But then after that, I'll go back home, show you what I got, a bit more detail, and then show you what I do for the rest of my day because it's now um, coming up to two o'clock and 
this is a time where I need to get back home. I need to start doing other things, but I'll show you what I do in the afternoon when we get home. Oh, what's this? Thank you very much. Look at aviating, pilot. Very nice. Twenty quid. I'm getting that. Oh, nice. Thirty-two thousand Brazil. Oh, gutted. That was there. You're looking about sixty, seventy pound. Easy. Oh no. Hey, quid. That's a small. UK 3840. I've got one that size. So, what is this? Vans. 650 Nice. That's probably something worth something. Brooks. Six quid Brooks. Mm. Now we all know about these for trainers, but let's have a look. Um, how long ago? So I've just got back home. Um, I'm going to show you what I do next. I picked up a lot of good stuff. Hopefully I got it all on camera. Just going to go through it quickly after. But I'm going to show you the office, um, well, slash old bedroom. This is where the photographs take place. This is where I list all my stuff. Uh, still pretty much a storage room as well. For more like stuff that's maybe valuable or uh, I don't want going outside. But yeah, at the moment I have just set up this. This is my background for my pictures. It is actually proper um, laminate flooring it's because I did try and have sticky stuff, but it looked tacky. So this is all glued on now. It's proper solid and yeah, it's perfect. Probably going to maybe extend it all the way up to the top. This is new to be my uh, green screen. I painted the whole wall. It cost me like 50, 60 quid for this paint when me and my son used to do um, gaming. Uh, we had about three or four hundred um, subscribers on that so but it's just faded out I ain't got time to do it and my son wants me to do it again but I haven't got the the laptop which is as good as the little one I had I sold it at, um, on lockdown when I needed uh, some money like at the end the um, I've got a rail here this is where I take all things that are quite long but I do want to extend it all there so it's all the same like studio light, wardrobe for more stuff. But yeah, um, this is where mainly most of the stuff happens, taking pictures, everything like that. Packaging happens in the other room. That's the room I sleep in. It's just because of the print is in there and I got another computer where it's a lot easier to do stuff. But my mom is the person who does that stuff because she wants to help out. She wants to keep active, you know, uh, she's retired and she, she likes doing that herself. Um, but yeah, that's all there is. Mondays usually is when I send off the stuff. So all packaging is already done over the weekend. Anything that sells over Friday, Saturday, Sunday, usually goes away um, by raw mail. I get them delivered and come and pick it up because it's free at the moment. Uh, so yeah, that is um, hassle free. Anything which is like sold on Vinted and stuff like that, I usually just drop off when I'm out and about. Well, usually it's mostly Royal Mail um, because it's mostly on um, on eBay. Mondays and Tuesdays are mostly picking days. Um, and I do do a bit of listing, but I usually start listing and have things scheduled. I have been scheduling recently, but last couple of days I've been very lazy and haven't been scheduling. I say about 10 schedules a day. Um, it's getting out of the way so you don't have to worry about it. 20 if you've got more stock obviously if you can do more than that do that you know it just makes the algorithm of ebay work better for you 
so let's go and show you these things i've got quite a lot of good things um some proper nice things but first of all what a pick what a find in the charity shop that seat that seat is a swivel level chair with a footstool they are still selling all over the place uh, for massive prices cheapest i've found is 275 pound i think uh the most i've seen it's going for is 750 but you know they're the places that no one buys them from the average price seems to be around 350 so i'm gonna try and sell it for around 250 it's brand new there's nothing wrong with it they had it in a and a place that gave them three of them two of them had gone straight away and there was one left i picked that up um some people were sitting it and was going to buy it but i said mate it's sold and you it's oh okay then. off with the things on the floor that that's not nothing new but this i picked this these two things up at the same place this is a advent calendar it's sealed it comes with the cards in it you're looking about 12 quid brand new so there's no reason i can't sell that for 12 quid and you know it's good for a christmas present this is the stereo little mini hi-fi system i picked up it's 25 quid but this been sold for 60 and that was one bid so there's no reason i can't get 60 quid for it and like sort of like double my profit i might be able to sell it for a little bit more because that was a bid so i'm looking at least doubling my profit i'm gonna i'm gonna put it up high i'm gonna put it for 80 and see what is see what the old retail price from brand new is but most of our stuff other than them two things and obviously the chair was clothing and some of the clothing is amazing let's go through this first bag it's um there's not much in this one but one of my picks of the day and Probably one of the nicest things I picked up was this. It's a vintage aviator jacket, full leather. There's a little bit of, there's a little where this is clips on. There's one missing just there, but it can be sewn on. I'm not a sewer, I don't know what to do, but it is absolutely lovely. It fits me. I'm really tempted to keep it, but um, comps on this, I don't, there's no comps, I can't find it. Um, somebody actually on Reddit said, um, is there anybody who knows anything about this? The make is, the make is Bella da Rubert, that's what I said, like a gun. People are saying it is Russian, so it might be a Russian aviator jacket, so I, I don't know. Uh, but there is an eagle, and that obviously means sometimes Russian. Um, I think it is obviously a make, um, but I can't sell this for less than 80 quid. It's going on for 80 quid. If it doesn't sell for 80 quid, then tough. It's not going for anything cheaper. Also picked up a sweatshirt, off the wall, Vans, extra large. This is not going to stay on very long. Quite nice. I keep that myself. I might keep it myself. £6.50. You're looking about 25 quid all day long and next if you know it these are more popular for shoes and uh, running trainers and that and it's brooks but this is a running training brooks like a dry fit uh long sleeve running top it's got a little zip down at the bottom um paid six pound again for this um Comps for these are anything between 25 and 30 quid. This is the next bag, and this has got the thing that's my most favourite thing. As you know me, I pick up Crocs all the time. If they're £2 or less, pick them up, because these Crocs I could sell for probably, if they come up nice, probably 10 to £15. Size, I think 12, yeah. So there's no reason why these don't sell. Even though it's coming to winter, people still go on holiday item is this and this is probably my most favorite thing if anybody knows anything about these then oh, oh, could be big money a shame it's not 100% silk if this was 100% silk you I'll be looking at mega bucks but this is a Chinese um, I, it's not they don't call them dressing gowns it's not a Komodo thing uh, because they're thicker but the 
the design in the back i mean i don't even know if this is gold in some sort of way you know if it's really expensive one why couldn't it be gold i can't test it i don't know anything about it but it's silk 25 percent, and then 75 percent rayon i've got this at eight pounds and it's a large it is beautiful i mean it's i, I i'll have to do some more research this i have seen some on um on the internet and they're anything from 80 to 250 so but they're nothing like this one this one looks so much better than any of them on there just because it's black and the gold i mean the gold it just looks expensive the cameras can't even do this justice i mean if i get this in the right light it is it's it's just beautiful it's absolutely beautiful and it's a vintage as well so it's not like it's a new thing it's a uh, esme um yeah made in china or made for china if you get me paid eight pound god knows how much it's worth probably i'm gonna put i'm gonna put a high price on this uh do a bit more research but this is not going for less than definitely a hundred pound i'm not saying for less than 100 pound probably double if i can get it right it's what i want to put on it next is a cool little thing it's brand new it's a it's from primark shame it's primark because if this was a levi's you're looking at about 200 pounds but it's not it's a pikachu pokemon it's a quite large size for a woman it's a size 18 but it's cool very cool brand new pikachu you know i can't see this staying around very long uh brand new 25 quid people are selling for 30 quid already paid a tenner so i bought it because i think he'll go quicker because he's obviously pokemon Next thing where I bought the chair from and the AVA jacket, the AVA jacket came in with this. So whoever bought all this stuff in had quality. This is Hogs of Fife. Never had any of this before, but this is a hunting jacket. Very, very nice. Tweed, um, very thick, waterproof as well. You're probably looking around 50 pound for one of these, maybe 60. Um, it's it's a size 16, so it's a woman's size. I did try it on. It, it doesn't fit me. It, it, it looks big, but it's obviously it's a, a woman's um, shame about that. I wouldn't have it. I don't like this sort of stuff. Pay £20 for that. If I can double it, then I'll be happy with that. But I'm going to aim for high, probably the £60 mark. And then it only puts an offer of 40 45 50 I'll take that. First buyer of the day was this. And... It was, yeah, as you knew, I was doing terrible at the start of the day, but I bought this. It was £3. Don't know if it works. It clicks. The buttons work. So I'm going to sell it as it's working. Um, obviously, I haven't got a film for it. Um, I wouldn't have a clue. So I'm going to say it's functional. It works. It, all, all the buttons work, but obviously it, it's it's not been tested. So untested are about 25 quid, working about £45. So I'm going to describe to it, I haven't got the things to test it, so I'm going to put it on. I don't want to undervalue myself and give somebody a working camera for like 20 quid cheaper. So I'll probably put it on for about £35, just in the middle mark, because it's working, but I've not tested it properly. As it's going up to winter, ski jackets will be coming very popular, even for not skiing. This is a Rojo one. It's a very cool one. This is what you see on on ski resorts proper i thought it was a retro one i don't think it is because it's just it's so crisp um but i've seen one somebody trying to sell one of these for 40 quid so i'm gonna put it on for around the same price it, give it an, a month it's gonna sell you know the weather is um getting worse in england but it's it's a hit and miss one you either love it or you hate it but you know it i think it's quite cool i paid eight pound for that yeah, I paid £8 for that one, so I should be able to double, maybe triple my money on that. Only toy of the day was a Garfield movie, TY plush. Only got this because, one, it has TY. Two, it's Garfield the movie. Um, anything movie related, usually sells better than just a standard one. 
Um, this fetches between 10 to 15. I've seen cells for 15. So I'm going to put this on for 15. It's in immaculate conditions. Nothing wrong with it. So, yeah. Next, a pretty basic Hugo Boss hoodie with a zip all the way down. It's quite thin. It's a large as well. So it's going to be very desirable for most people. I actually do like it. It's quite thin material, but it's very nice. Um, I haven't looked at the comps on this, but I'm thinking anything between 25, maybe 30. Um, probably 25, but because it is in excellent condition. Yeah, I think I paid £5 for this as well. Hugo Boss for £5 in a charity shop. That is absolute bargain. And it's a real one because it's got all the QR codes and everything on it. Something I've never bought before is basketball trainers. And these are pretty cool. These are Nike Air. I had £6 on these. These are a size, I think, 5 or 6. No, 6. So somebody getting into basketball, teenagers, you know, they're pretty cool. Retail on these, um, I've seen for about 30 35 And there's no reason. They're in really nice condition. And they're Nike Air. So there's no reason why these can't sell. More brand new clothing. And it's these. A lot, I'm doing a lot of hunting stuff at the moment. Um, these are from America. These are called Deer Hunter clothing they are based in america basically uh these are 2g montana these are like hunting trousers they're fully waterproof and they've got a zip they've got a zip that goes all the way around so you can actually take that out and then just have the actual trousers they're size 42 so quite big boy trousers um if these had the straps and they you know go over you and um with the fishing ones you're looking at about 150 quid but these aren't, they're brand new. You're probably gonna get about 50 to 60 quid for these. Lowest I've seen these sell for is 45 quid, brand new. But, you know, that might be in them just to try and get rid of them quickly. They're worth all day long, at least 50 quid. I paid 15 pound and I got two of them brand new. So absolute bangers. And then the final top I've got was a scummy Man United top. You know what? This just shows you that Man United fans do not care about their team. I picked up this. It says it's an extra large, but I think it's an extra large for kids because it is very, it is, it is now, nah, it's too small for an extra large, it'd be huge. Extra large kids, but it has got some condition issues. It's got a little hole and snags on the front. Paid four quid. Maybe I might be able to get 15 quid for it. If I get 15 quid, I'll be happy because of the condition. Well, it's really old. It's a 2004, five, six, something like that. Yeah. If this was an adult's one, you're looking about 45 quid. And, you know, if he's in good condition, it's all real as well. Shame of tags and shame it's Man United and shame it's kids. But, you know what, four quid, it's going to go for, I'm going to make double my money, maybe triple. But, yeah, it's now, what, six o'clock at night. And it's taken me all that time to go out, show you what I do for a bit. And this is what a usual day is like. Um, not every day is like this. You know, this is more my picking day. Um, if you want to show, if you want me to show you like what a, a packing day is like or what a listing day is like, then obviously um, comment down below. But yeah, this is usually at the start of the week where I'm trying to get as much stock in as possible. I do it like at the start of the week and like on a Sunday when I obviously go around car boots midweek. I do car boots, um, but you see them when I post them on here. But yeah, that's a day in a life of what I do usually at the start of the week on a Monday and a Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, obviously hit that like button and I'll see you next time with another video. Goodbye.